Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania's not taking it anymore. Swings back with huge message about her husband. Takes big hit for it. The media would have you believed things are awful between President Trump and First Lady Melania. Nothing could be further from the truth. If you watch how thoughtful the president is around his wife, always helping her and looking at her adoringly and the love in her eyes for her husband, you would know this is not the truth. It's hateful propaganda that the media never used as a weapon against Barack and Michelle Obama, although there was far more cause to. Melania has hit it with the lies and the false rumors being spread by the media and the left about her marriage. The constant fake news is getting really old and tiresome. The hit she took for it was being called fake news and a liar for the message she sent the world about her marriage and her love for President Trump. Melania is a fantastic mother and she is dedicated to her husband and marriage and she is adamant about it. She's also obviously very happy in that role, despite what the left constantly says. The First Lady just had major surgery, which by the way President Trump was in attendance for as far as I know. He checked on her constantly. The media is all in a dither saying she has not been seen for more than two weeks. Well, she had kidney surgery to remove a fibrous growth. She spent about five days in the hospital and is now recovering in the White House. It's no wonder she's not up and around to be seen. Give it a rest already. This has nothing to do with their marriage. Under a kidney procedure such as the First Lady's, doctors block a blood vessel in order to stop blood flow to a specific area and stop a patient from bleeding. After she returned to the White House, she thanked people for their good wishes. Our office has received thousands of calls and emails wishing Mrs. Trump well, and we thank everyone who has taken the time to reach out," the White House said in a statement. Listen to this salacious hateful rhetoric from NCT. Melania has been suffering under the weight of constantly finding out new and horrible things about her husband's past, and he seemingly can't even be bothered to spell her name correctly, a woman he's been married to for 13 years and change. That little blunder proved one of a few things, either he manually spelled it wrong like a moron, or he types her name so infrequently that his phone's spell check doesn't automatically guess what he's saying, or perhaps worst of all, an aide wrote the tweet. Perhaps that's why tweets are surfacing tonight about Melania moving back to New York following her kidney surgery on May 14 at Walter Reed Medical Center. But maybe the biggest proof of all that Melania has her bags packed, or at least plans to in the near future, is that the First Lady has changed the location indicator on her personal Twitter account back to New York City where she lived before she moved into the White House with Barron after his school year ended. First off, that's pretty much the entirety of that report, which is just lame beyond belief. The Trumps have a home in New York City, just as they do in Florida and in D.C. right now at the White House. Melania's official FLOTUS Twitter account she uses for her duties has Washington, D.C. as her location. Her personal account has always had New York as the location. Stop picking at every little thing on their social media accounts. You people just make stuff up anymore for clicks. Trump made a typo on Melania's name and that means he doesn't love her? Give me a break, when I text, autocorrect sometimes gets by me and my spelling is hilarious. And theirs is too and they know it. Heck, sometimes I misspell my own name. Most of the accusations in Trump's past are baseless and made up. The rest, people are just maliciously guessing at. Trump and Melania obviously love each other or they would not be together still. And you know what? It's none of anyone's business but theirs. It amazes me the amount of gossip and hate-mongering coming from the left and how non-existent the recognition of President Trump's accomplishments are. He's virtually kept all his promises and has radically made things better for all of us since he's been in office, but you'd never know it to look at the media. You never see the pics where Melania stumbles in heels on the White House lawn while heading to the helicopter and President Trump being right there to catch her. You don't see the loving looks they give each other at various events. You don't hear the kind words spoken between them when a live mic is accidentally left on. At least the media is hoping you don't. But Americans are paying attention. I know I do and I see and hear it all the time between the first couple. They are not on the verge of breaking up and I highly doubt the separate bedrooms rumor. In fact, I don't believe anything coming out of the media anymore and most of America is in agreement with me. Melania Trump is doing great after her kidney surgery, President Trump said Friday. But what the media focused on was that the First Lady had not been seen lately. She's doing great. Right there. She's doing great, he said on the White House lawn Friday morning before he left to give the commencement address at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. She's looking at us, right there, he added and pointed to a window in the White House residence above him. She's recovering and being the beautiful woman that Melania is, she won't want to be seen until she's fit for duty. As for the love between them. 
It is an untold fairy tale in many respects. And it belongs to the Trumps, no one else, so knock off the lies already. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.